Your first step with sewing a little orange shirt is going to be choosing a pattern to work with, cut it, printing it out onto paper, just regular paper is perfect. And then you're going to, once you've cut it out of your paper, all of your little shapes, you're then going to choose a fabric to work with and then cut it out of fabric. For my shirt where I have the body and the sleeves separate, I have cut two of each of these so that I have front, back, left arm, and then right arm. These sleeves are a mirror image, so don't worry about sort of getting the left and the right confused if you have, for example, sewn a shirt that might actually fit on a person. And then the backs and the fronts, as you notice, that was a cut two, and that those are both the same. And so with that, I'm going to start off sewing my shoulder seams, not skipping the neckline so that that can still open. Once I have the shoulder seam sewn, I can then open it up, sort of like that, but it'll be connected. I can then sew in my sleeves into both the armholes, and then once those are sewn in, I can then sew the under, seam, under sleeve seam and side seam all in one. For your shirt with sleeves, you are going to place your two body pieces together at the shoulder seams. And again, sewing a fairly small seam allowance along that edge with ideally matching thread color. I'm just using contrast so that you can see it. And I'm going to line up the edge of my fabric fairly close to the edge of my presser foot. And I'm just going to do a regular stitch length back stitching at each end there. There we go, one shoulder done. Second shoulder done. And so now that I have both shoulders done, I can open up my fabric. You can see my neck hole right there. And so you are actually going to now place, after trimming your threads, one of your little sleeve pieces in that armhole. And so if you find it easier, you might want some pins or you can just go for it and you can line up the center of the sleeve right about here with that shoulder seam okay. and so and then swing it down so that you can see where it lines up and again sewing with a fairly small seam allowance you're just going to make sure that your sleeve and the body pieces are Lining up, raw edge to raw edge. Stop, needle down, foot up, and pivot your fabric as needed. And then I'm going to finish that sleeve off. And so there is one of my sleeves in the shirt. And so now I'm going to do exactly the same thing for my other sleeve matching up the top center of my sleeve with my shoulder seam and I'm going to swing it down so that it matches that armhole and then sew the two together and so as I'm sewing I'm making sure that my raw edges are matching in there. so you can see my Edges are getting a little bit far apart, so I'm going to go needle down, foot up. Finish off that seam. Trim all of your threads as you go. And then once you have both of your sleeves in there, you can actually fold your piece in half. It's now it's starting to look like shirt A. And you are going to match your underarm seams and your 
side seams together. And then do one long row of stitching. So for my sleeve seams, I actually have those folded out towards the sleeve. And I'm going to go right to that seam, and then at that seam, I'm actually going to go needle down, foot up. And then with my foot down, sewing the rest of that body side seam together. So that's one underarm inside side seam done. I'm going to do my other one here. And before I turn it right set out, I'm actually going to clip right into my corners, right to where I pivoted. And what that's going to do is it is going to help my fabric lie flat once it's on the inside and it's turned right side out. And so with this clipping, you want to clip right to your stitching, but not through your stitching. If you clip right through your stitching. Just go in and give yourself another little bit of a seam. And so there we go, they're both sewn. And so then at this stage, you're actually going to turn it right side out and then admire your hard work.